Welcome back everyone to the Chief Lego Fanatic. Today we're going to be building the R2-D2 set. This set premiered with the May the 4th event this year in 2021. It is set number 75308. It's 2,314 pieces. Uh, front pretty standard. Shows R2-D2. Uh, he's actually standing so he has all three of his legs uh, uh, down. Um, on a side note, it's actually here on the side, it says that this is uh, the anniversary, uh, the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. So make sure to add that onto the box. Uh, the back shows some of the different things that the set can do. Uh, the head turns left and right. The There's a lightsaber compartment that kind of ejects out. If anybody remembers from Return of the Jedi, that's something that Luke does. Uh, his little manipulator arms come out. Uh, there's a little button in the back to push for that. Um, shows that the set is seven and a half inches wide, 12 and a half inches tall. Um, it, like most of the collector series, it has a little informational plate, a little uh, miniature RTD2. Uh, the bottom shows scenes from the different movies. So um, Phantom Menace, A New Hope, and one of the sequel trilogy. Depends on how much you want to claim the sequel trilogy, trilogy as part of the series. Uh, the top doesn't really show anything special, but it does show the R2-D2 logo, um, the Star Wars logo. Uh, there's the actual size of, uh, I believe this is R2-D2's eye, and then of course the Lego logo. And the bottom is the bottom. One of these days, I'm gonna get a box cutter instead of just using a pair of scissors. So let's see what we have inside. Of course. So like a lot of the larger Lego sets now, has another interior box. I do actually hold on to all of the boxes. I have a large 65 inch TV box upstairs that I hold them in. That way they can maintain the color, maintain the collector's value. That's why I try to be very careful how I open the boxes. Let's see, we have some standalone pieces, probably part of the, the stand or his feet. Uh, we have instructions. Uh, doesn't look like there's any de decals other than the informational plate. Five, three, twelve, one, eleven, ten, four. So it looks like it's 13 steps, so it's 13 uh, different bags. See what the instructions look like. So again, we have our little informational plate. Uh, these are actually relatively thick instructions for a relatively small set. Uh, 279 pages, last couple pages or so, different things that you can do with the set. Let's see. Very beginning, pays homage to the 50th anniversary of Star Wars and of Lucasfilm. Um, talks about how this is a tribute to quote unquote everyone's favorite droid. Uh, gives some information about why R2-D2 is so special, why everyone loves him. Um, talks about his friendship with C-3PO. Uh, I'm not showing both sides. There are pictures on both sides, but the other sides are in uh, French and Spanish. Uh, shows how R2-D2 was built. 
um, shows Kenny Baker, the actual actor for R2-D2, uh, inside of the costume. Uh, all the different R2-D2s that they had to build for the movies. And then, of course, the basic instructions. Uh, the instructions do show what each um, bag does for the set. So, pretty standard Lego instructions. So, let's get going.
finished product. So we'll start with the information plate. Just has a little mini R2D2 pre standard minifig, uh, gray top with the white body and the white legs. Also has the informational plate, uh, talks about who the manufacturer is, what the model is, uh, which the model is just R2 series astrometric droid, uh, for navigation repair, which obviously R2D2, we all know, did way more than that. Uh, its height, some different equipment that it has, uh, and its processing indicating color for whatever reason. Now, for the model itself, took me about seven hours. Um, so it's a pretty complicated build considering um, the size of it and the number of pieces and whatnot. Um, head spins pretty freely, freely uh, does spin all the way around. Um, you do have his antenna that comes up. Um, it does have a way for it to actually adjust the camera. It does have a way for his antenna to actually stay extended um, and then it turns back and it fits in flush with the rest of the top. The other part that comes off is this little section right here. Oh, yep. That piece comes off as a hole. Inside, you can see where Luke's uh, lightsaber hung out. It doesn't have a way for it to just pop out, but you can just pull it out and then put it back in. Again, this little piece fits back in flush. Uh, it does have all of R2-D2's manipulator arms on the front. Uh, these two open uh, to show uh, different types of equipment. These two uh, doors here open, but it actually has a manipulator on the back for you to push out the equipment. So you push it open and out pops his little screwdriver. Uh, this is usually where his uh, manip or his uh, computer connector is uh, and you just push them back in. Some of the neat details it shows the fans uh, at his bottom both on the front and the back. So it's a lot of the the details on his legs where the uh, rockets pop out for him to be able to fly. Super useful for astromech. Uh, we know he did a lot of that in the Clone Wars whenever Anakin would destroy his fighter. Um, and then you notice it looks like he only has two legs. Which obviously if you watch the build part of this video you'll note that that's not true. So he actually can lean forward. And then the third leg is in this little hidden compartment underneath. Now, woo! Okay, so maybe the head's not so stable. It doesn't really have much of a connector. If you see, uh, it has some connects blocks here at the top. Um, and then the top, the actual inside of it is just a little square piece. So not really designed to be picked up and turned upside down, which is what I was trying to do with it. But as I was saying, uh, the underside, it doesn't really have an undersize, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, I know the under, the, the bottom is not something people would look at, but it would be neat to actually be able to see this completely hidden instead of just kind of sitting here. It's kind of odd. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but you kind of have to stick your hand up in here to get the mechanism that hides it to activate again. So this is what it looks like from underneath while it's hidden. So overall, not a bad set. I do wish that this were a bit more stable. Um, it's kind of annoying. It's the three or four times I've picked it up and the way, the only way I've found to fix it to actually line it up is you have to reach in here and pull this piece out. And what it uses to rotate is just this uh, regular uh, black rotational piece and it just has this red uh, round piece that fits inside of it and that's what allows it to rotate. So put that back on, fit the head back on.
And that's about as steady as it goes. So, uh, again, not a bad build. Uh, it's R2D2, so it's kind of hard to get upset at any type of build that goes along these lines. Uh, now it's time to go put it on my shelf with all the others. Uh, until next time, if you like this video, please make sure you like it and subscribe. Uh, hopefully I'll continue to have videos come out every week or so until I get through my entire collection. Then after that, it gives me an excuse to go buy more. So, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.